We've been living on the road for the past five years in various RVs, traveling thousands of miles all over North America, from our former home in Florida to Alaska and all through Mexico. We have been really enjoying life on the road. One of the things that's made life on the road more convenient and comfortable for us is the fact that we tried to make our homes on the road feel like a home on the road. If Huckleberry lets us, today we're going to be sharing with you some of those things that we think are the most important, mostly small things that will allow you to have a more comfortable and convenient life on the road. Is that okay with you, Huckleberry? Yeah, the number one thing, get a dog. Yeah. That makes RV life so much better. So we're going to talk about some favorite items of ours, um, and we're going to list them in no particular order. Number one don't on our hurt, list, don't I don't want to say number feelings. one. I don't want to hurt feelings by, <laughs> by saying something's number one or number So five. the first product we're going to talk about is a keyless entry lock by RV Lock. So we have the keyless entry um, from RV Lock that's made for Class C and Class A motorhomes, and it's super convenient. So. Now we have no worries about getting locked out of our RV. If we accidentally lock our keys inside, it has a keypad that you can um, put whatever code you want. It's changeable, so you don't have to have the same code all the time. But we pick you know, our code in there that we know, and we can unlock the RV without needing a key. Um, it also comes with key fobs, so we can unlock the RV with the key fobs. Or it has traditional locks that we can just unlock and get in. And it's super easy to install. It takes about 10 minutes and the instructions are pretty straightforward. Um, it fits for Class C motorhomes as well as Class A motorhomes and, and uh, travel trailers. Yeah. And they also, yeah, they make different locks for all types of RVs. So whether you have a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, you can find one that, that should fit yours. And it fits in perfectly. And then you take a couple screws out, put a couple screws in, change the passcode to whatever you want the passcode to be. And voila, it is done. Super simple. Again, it's added security for us and it's added convenience as Lindsay pointed out. So the next thing on the list is our mattress. So when we first started off in RV life, um, we replaced the mattress that came with our truck camper and with the motorhome, but we replaced it with just like a cheap memory foam mattress on Amazon. You don't want to sleep on somebody else's old mattress, so yeah, right away you want to get a new mattress, period. Um, so. And most, I don't know if most know this, but our mattresses that come with RVs typically are awful. They're thin, they suck. Anyway, so one of the first upgrades you want to make is your mattress. We originally went with a cheap one off of Amazon. It was okay, wasn't great, and we are big supporters of having a great night's sleep. So an RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding reached out to us and offered us an opportunity to do a sleep trial on one of their mattresses. We were all about it because sleep is a priori priority for us and starting out the day and, and you live out of your RV. So getting a good night's sleep allows you to do everything you want the next day. We said, absolutely, let's give it a shot. So we got the Aurora Lux Hybrid Mattress and it is amazing. It is like sleeping on a cloud. I wish we had made this decision sooner. From day one. From day one, gotten this mattress. They make them in all sizes. We have the Short Queen. That's what we have in our motorhome. Um, they make basically every size Hang on, that are you talking fits about in an RV. You're a short queen? Because I'm, yeah. I'm not short or a queen. No. I barely fit on it, but it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, Chris Legs does overhang, but it's not the mattress's fault. It's the standard That's RV the size. standard RV size. But it's great because RVmattress.com, as the name suggests, they know RV mattresses, so it's not like you have to try to make a different kind of mattress fit. They have all different types of sizes. So if your RV or your trailer comes with a, uh, God forbid, a king or a uh, twin or whatever you're shopping for, guaranteed RVmattress.com has it on their website for you to be yep. able to pick out. They also have a 10 year warranty and a 120 night sleep trial. So if you do not like the mattress in that 100, first 120 days, you can return it. They you won't, <laughs> you're gonna like it. Yeah. And they do offer free shipping. It ships conveniently in about, I, I mean, it's a large size box, but it's wrapped up. Um, so you can pretty much have it shipped to any RV park or campground as long as they allow packages. That's mm -hmm. what we did. We, we had it shipped to a campground we were staying at and we opened, opened the it box. up, opened the box, put the mattress on the bed and then cut the, cut plastic, the plastic off. And, and, <laughs> and the cheap one that we, had, we talked about having before it took about a day. We actually had to get two different ones because the first one didn't expand fully to the 10 inches that it was supposed to. 
and so we had that replaced. Had to, like, you have to immediately open these things, uh, the cheaper ones, or else they won't poof up. This one poofed up from RVMattress.com, poofs up right away. Like, you can sleep yeah, on it within we're ready to sleep 10 on minutes. It. Yeah. I don't even it think it takes awesome. 10 minutes. I mean, it was like <laughs> instantaneous. Whoosh, there it is. Another thing we absolutely love about this is we like to support American manufacturers, and these are manufactured in Arizona, in the United States, and so it is a great way to be able to support American manufacturing. You know it's supporting the jobs and the local economies around the factory as well. And of course, with the different sizes, you also have the different uh, levels of comfort with the mattress. You can get firm or soft or anywhere in Our between. Our medium, which is what we have. We have the medium firmness. Yep. And so we absolutely love our mattress. And if you are interested, go check out rvmattress.com forward slash wander. And we can offer you a discount, 20% discount there for you shopping through that link. We'll put the link in the description below and it's popping up right now for you as well. Again, it's worth the trial if you're looking for a mattress or if you know that we don't need to tell you the first thing you should think about replacing is a mattress. But if you're shopping for one, go right now to rvmattress.com forward slash wander. Go ahead and take a look, find the mattress you want, give it that 120 day trial and I'm confident that you're not gonna send it back um, because it's gonna be amazing. And we are not looking back. I don't, we'll never shop another mattress. Yeah, we'll always have that one. Always, well, sure. we'll have an rvmattress.com mm -hmm. mattress, whether we keep this one or we get a new RV upgrade, whatever. Uh, great company, great products, and we are happy to have our mattress. So next on the list, and this is a very, very important item, is a vent fan. Fantastic vent fans are the yeah. ones that we prefer. Um, there are others out there. Max Air is another popular one, but we're fans of the Fantastic Fan. We've had them in all of our RVs. We actually have three of them in this wonderful motorhome, this 31-foot motorhome, and we use them every day. And ventilation is key when you live in an RV. Like, you must have ventilation. Not just for the humidity factor, but also comfort. Um, when it's hot outside, if you're not, if you're like us, we love to boondock, and so we don't just turn the generator on to run our air condition. We create airflow inside of our camper. Yep, we open a window, turn the fan on, turn multiple fans on, and then we got a breeze kicking through here that is amazing. So, um, it's also great, like, I must have some sort of fan on at night when I'm sleeping, and that's another great thing. We have one um, directly over our bed. It acts kind of like a ceiling fan, and it pushes the cool air in down on top of us. It also has a reverse switch, so it sucks air out and then brings fresh air in. So we tend to, like... Um, play that with the different the different fans in here. We'll have one that's like pushing air in and we'll have one fan that's pushing air out and bringing fresh air in. Again, we go with the fantastic vent fans because we've had them, they've worked phenomenally for us. There's no issues compared to some of the other options out there. Price really great. Um, not the cheapest, not the most expensive, just a nice price point for you. So go check that out. Again, link in the description below if you're interested in this product or any of the products that we talk about. The fourth thing on the list is a conglomerate of several items that you're going to want to have, but it is the idea of having a bountiful amount of power. Um, if you are like us or you're like the average RVer and you may not go campground to campground, at some point you're going to spend a couple days unplugged or for us we can go indefinitely, usually a couple weeks on the road. We never have to worry about power because we've invested in a robust power system. So I'm going to briefly talk about that and we'll link to other videos that we have on our specific power setup. We 100% recommend lithium batteries from the start. We, we did not go with lithium batteries in any of our RVs up to this point, and we realized the mistake that we made. We bought into the idea that lithium is too expensive, blah, blah, blah. That's the big thing is a price point. What we realized is that lithium is a much better value, particularly over the long term, than all your other options in flooded lead acid or AGM uh, sealed batteries. With lithium, we've gone with Enduro Power Batteries great company. They make the smallest, most compact, most lightweight uh, lithium batteries on the market for the amp hour capacity that you can store. We absolutely love it. Um, we've got two 200 amp hour batteries that we hooked in parallel, so we have 400 amp hours of total capacity, and that gives us plenty of power. We combine that with another item, which of course would be our solar panel system. In our case, we have 960 watts of solar, panel, uh, solar panels on the roof, and we bring that down into a Victron controller, which would be another component, again, of the power system that we recommend having. The inverter, we also have a Renogy inverter, which you're gonna to wanna to have to be able to take that power 
and turn it into something usable for most of your devices. All of those are Renogy as well. We go with Enduro, uh, Enduro power batteries for our batteries because they were the lightest, most powerful batteries that we could fit in our, our particular RV. They're very affordable as well. Um, we're linking to a discount there if you want to shop directly you can get 5% off your um, purchase if you want to go directly through Enduro Power Batteries. With our particular power system, because we have an older RV, it didn't have a, a transfer switch built into an inverter. And so we installed our inverter and what this automatic transfer switch allows us to do is it allows us to um, light up all of our power outlets throughout the entire motor home so that we can plug in just whether we're boondocking, whether we're on shore power, we just plug our computers, our TV, whatever we want to plug in to these standard outlets and everything works like normal off of 120 power. So that was a game changer for us because without this transfer switch, again, in our older modeled RV, without the transfer switch, we'd have to plug directly into the inverter or run a power strip out of the inverter and then start switching around which things we're plugging in at what time. All the way back in our bedroom, which is quite a few feet away from where our inverter is, we would have to run an extension cord if we wanted to have something in the bedroom at night that we were plugging in. So this is a great thing to add, this transfer switch, if you need to add it. If you have a newer RV, a newer trailer, it may already be built in for your particular system. Yeah, and there's also um, inverters now that have a built-in transfer switch in it. So you can get like an all-in-one inverter with the transfer switch. So just depending on your situation and your setup and whether you're starting from scratch or whether you're just trying to make what you have work better, these are again things that all combine into the idea of having bountiful power. When you have power on the road, when you have enough solar, when you have enough battery power, you can do all kinds of things, particularly when it comes to like Lindsay's going to introduce the next topic, and that is being able to run her air fryer. But we really love the ability to have so much power that we don't have to worry about, and this is this is really why it's like living at home. We don't worry about power. We don't have to think, okay, this thing's plugged in here. Lindsay's got to finish doing her hair before I can plug in my computer or we can't charge these batteries because this is taking too much power there. When you live in an RV, you might play the switch on, switch off game. We don't because we have enough power between our battery yeah. bank and our solar uh, panel capacity with the inverter and the charge controller or the uh, transfer switch. We're able to run everything just like being in a house and that's important. Chris kind of hinted to this one, but the next one is our air fryer. We have a Gourmia air fryer. It's like a more like a toaster oven, convection oven air fryer. And I absolutely love it. I love to bake sourdough bread. And that's um, usually what I bake my bread in. And now that we have these upgraded batteries and the solar power, I can now run that invert or run the air fryer um, off our batteries. Uh, without having to worry if they handle them great. Um, so but that air fryer is, is super convenient to have. Um, we used to have a microwave, but we really don't like the microwave. Getting rid of the microwave was huge. We did put this air fryer in the microwave space. And we have a nice simple little hook attachment to make sure that it doesn't fall out when we're driving. Highly recommend removing the microwave, installing an air fryer. The air fryer is much more healthier uh, way of cooking. And we just so. met, I mean, we meet people all the time and you, it might be your case. It was our case for the first year and a half on the road. Our microwave wasn't a microwave. It was where we stored bread, <laughs> essentially. You just open the door and that's a big waste of space. So rather than wasting the power and all that, we decided to get the air fryer put in and it does wonders. We just got this one because it was in our price range. Nope, nope, you didn't get it. Oh, I got his. I Christmas got this gift. one for Lindsay as a Christmas gift. While we were remodeling the RV, it was fun. I had to sneak in here and kind of measure things out. Then I got to do the shopping, which Lindsay's the master <laughs> shopper. So I went around, took a tape measure into all these different stores, and I was literally measuring all the dimensions because <laughs> just you can't trust all the dimensions they publish for you. So I measured all the dimensions, found the one that fit because for us there was really only one that fit in this particular space that she can actually use while it's up there. So it's vented pretty well. Um, and I got Lindsay a nice surprise for a Christmas present. He did a good job. We also have an Instapot, and I cook with that a lot. That's super convenient to make things. Which would be a second to this. Yep, uh, I don't a second know what, to this. What number is that? Have that air fryer and have that Instapot. They're like the multi cookers, they do a bunch of stuff in one, and it just makes RV life really convenient. So to have like all of all-in-one appliances that do more than one thing. And if you are like us, or you want to be like us in terms of power consumption and not worrying about it, I don't worry when Lindsay's using either of those two appliances because as I described, we have a very robust power system. 
we don't have to run the generator. We don't have to be plugged into shore power at a campground. We can be out camping on a beautiful beach or in the desert, wherever we want to be in the woods. And Lindsay can run the air fryer or the Instapot, not both of them at the same time, but she can run either one of those and we have plenty of power to be able to power it up. And the last item on our list is our vacuum cleaner. We have a little handheld lithium powered vacuum cleaner by Bissell. It's the Bissell Pet Hair Eraser and we absolutely love it. Highly recommend if you live in an RV or a small RV like ours to have a little handheld um, battery powered vacuum cleaner. It's super easy to charge. It draws very little power when we do charge it. We can either charge it on our batteries or charge it when we're hooked up at a campground to power. Either way. Why do we have the pet hair eraser? Because our <laughs> we have two blue healers and they shed like crazy. Don't they shed twice a year? They shed, yeah. People say they shed twice a year. Once for six months in the spring and summer and once for six months in the fall and winter. They shed all the time and so this is very important for us. Um, I'm a little bit A-type personality. I like to have things nice and clean and organized and so for me personally getting rid of the dog hair is super important and we vacuum at least once a week with this little handheld vacuum and it does miracles for us because we spend a lot of time camping in the beach or in the desert. We're tracking a lot of sand and dirt in. We do have a broom. We sweep things up but these vacuums allow us to get to the hard to reach places and it just sucks the hair right up. You yeah. have a, a so much better than a plug-in vacuum which would draw a crazy amount of power. Yeah, they have like a really cool attachment that's you know really good at cleaning up the pet hair off the carpet and off your bedding and You can off roll your it sofa. like a normal vacuum right <laughs> over yeah. yeah, right over it comes these with places. a bunch of cool of attachments. We are those pet people, we are those dog people that allow our dogs to sleep in our bed with us. So, being able to just really quickly sweep right over with the vacuum and suck up all the pet hair afterwards it makes it feel not like we're sleeping in their bed but like they're sleeping in our bed so those are just a handful of the most important things that we think you will appreciate as you're trying to turn your rv your motorhome your trailer your van into your home on the road having comfort is super important from getting a good night's sleep to being able to keep things clean to being able to cook delicious food conveniently to having enough power to not worry about power these are the top things that we focused on when we do any kind of new RV or new RV lifestyle for ourselves is to make sure we have those appliances or those things inside our RV. We think you'll appreciate them as well. All links are in the description below, so if you would like to learn more information, be sure to check those out. And we do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next one.